Okay, now I'm going to show you how to export your tracks into separate WAV files or stems if you're using Pro Tools. First, you want to call up your session. Then you want to call up the track editing screen window, which is the one right here I'm on. And then you want to go down to the very left corner of the screen, lower left, and you want to click on all. Make sure it's highlighted. Mine is already highlighted. Right there. And once you've done that, uh, you want to select all your tracks. And there's several different ways you can do that. Uh, you can click in that window first. Make sure that window's active. Then you hit the command key, then the A. Hold the command down, then hit A. And that will do it. Another way to do it is, is to triple click real quick. That does it. The third way is to actually drag your cursor over the tracks you want to conclude and make sure they, they light up like that. And, and whatever's in that box right there that's lit up are the ones that are going to be included in the uh, consolidation. Okay, so once you have your tracks lit up, okay, now you want to actually consolidate them. Now, what you do is you go up to the edit at the top of the Pro Tools, hit edit, scroll down till you see consolidate region. Click on that. And what that does, it, it consolidates all your tracks into one big long file. It makes it possible for the person getting it on the other end to line everything up at the very left and then everything will hit right where it's supposed to hit. It uses silence as a placekeeper. Okay, now you can see it filling in right there. I'll give it a second. Okay, looks like it's done. Okay, now you want to export your tracks. And you, export, and you want to export your newly consolidated tracks by holding the shift key and then command and then pressing K. Hold down shift and command, then press K. And then you have the export selected screen, file type, put it on wave, format, put it on interleaved. I think this is the best way to put it on interleave because what it does is it leaves your mono tracks untouched. And then if you have stereo tracks, like for example, a stereo keyboard, it won't affect that by giving you a left and a right track. It'll give you the stereo track. Okay, now you want to choose the destination of where you want to export these tracks. This is very important because it could put it anywhere. So you want to choose, and now I'm going to choose desktop, and I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop, and I'm going to name it Pro Tools 1. I'm going to create it first. Uh, Pro Tool 1. Okay, then I hit open. It goes back to this screen. Now I want to go ahead and export it. Make sure that you have it on prompting for each duplicate right there. And it may take a few minutes depending on how many tracks you have. But it's actually pretty fast. It's much faster than real time. Okay, we'll give it a minute. Okay, now that's done now. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out Pro Tools or I'm going to hide it. Then I'm going to check my folder. And all my tracks are in there. 
Now notice some of my tracks are 39.3 megabytes, some are 76.3. Now the ones that are 39.3 are the mono tracks, 76.3 are the stereo tracks. So that's one way to know which is which. Okay, now when, when you send these tracks, what you want to do is you want to compress this folder. So, because to put this folder in a zip file is very critical because what it does is it keeps the integrity of all the audio and make sure nothing gets misplaced and it's actually a little smaller file size so there's a lot of benefits to it so you first you want to highlight the track and then go in up here and you want to hit compress I'm compressing that folder Pro Tool 1 and what it does is it doesn't really mess with the one that's already there it creates a separate folder that's the same information but it's in a zip file and that's what you want to send through the internet it's already created it it's not done yet Okay, it's done. Now this is what you want to send. You want to send this brown one here that says zip right here, dot zip. And you send that to me using wetransfer.com. And when I get it, I'm going to double click on it and it's going to open right back up where I see all the files. See, I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to double click on it. And it's actually opening up right here. It's unarchiving it. And here is the new file right here, the new folder. It's the same exact information as the original. Okay, and that's how you do it. Very simple. And when I send it back to you, it's going to be the same exact process. You're going to receive the zip file in the mail, this file right here. And when you get it, you double click on it. And it's going to open up the tracks just like that. Okay, that's it. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, hit me up on my email or on my channel.